<sighs> Excuse me. What is he saying here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you got to admit that sounded as right off the bat here we go okay so a while back we looked at some cartoons that sound like they're swearing it's all accidental they don't do it on purpose and then people sent me more how could there be this many f false f in kids shows apparently it happens all the freaking time listen to that <laughs> i mean even the characters like <gasps> you did not just say that the show is for infants so you watch your stupid fucking language! This is called The Cuphead Show. It's a Netflix show. Netflix ought to know better. This might not even be a kid's show, actually. Just because it's a cartoon doesn't mean, okay, it's a kid's show. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just gonna solo out that word. Pumpkin, maybe? Pumpkin. It could be pumpkin. It could be pumpkin. He's not even wearing a pumpkin hat, though. <laughs> like, I, I give up. Can someone please comment below and tell me what the hell he's saying? Because honestly, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. But that ain't nothing. This next accidental swear in a cartoon got on the newspaper. As reported on by The Sun, Upsy Daisy Mom, don't know what that means, stunned after in the night garden character appears to shout, shut the fuck up on CBeebies show. And apparently instead of turning off the show, she showed it to her kid again just to take a picture. Oh my god, this show just said f Here Vivian, watch it again so I can record. All right, anyways, let's watch it ourselves. We will be the judge. What the hell kind of drugs were those producers on? What the hell was that? <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> okay, okay, this mom may be onto something. That was a shut the f for sure. And I'm pretty sure it was that little guy. All right, well, let's think about this realistically. If I were in his position surrounded by a bunch of Walmart brand Muppets with a blimp flying overhead farting at me, I'd probably say shut the f up too. <laughs> For real though, he's probably just making random noises like If you guys have a better, better guess at what he's saying, comment it below because I'm scared. All right, now this is a show I dealt with before. It apparently happens a lot in this show. Amazing World of Gumball. Check this one out. Scanning in progress. Prepare to enter the internet in. Three, two. Yeah, what the? Of course, of course, All he said was what the? He did not follow up with Really? Come on, guys, why would you send me this one? That wasn't even bad at all. I'd be more concerned that this cat is photocopying his bare ass to send to this fish. Also, side note. Three, two, yeah! That was a sick scream. Yeah! yeah! That's better than what I can do. What the f***? All right, this next cartoon we have talked about before, Adventure Time. And they're swearing again. Ah! Thank you. Uh, I guess so! Gotta tell you, never heard a tree say f you before, but uh... Thank you. And you know what? It works under the context too, cause um... Buddy here just stabbed his giant tree scrote, and he's exploding. I would probably say the same thing. Thank you. Maybe he's saying thank you? No, he. why would he be saying thank you? He's blowing up. Also, this it, oh man, just noticed that. Um, adventure time. Do you guys know what the f*** you're doing? You guys are tainting this next generation. And also, why does this never happen in adult shows? I mean, never once has Law & Order SVU been like, and you're like, well, that was accidental. It always happens in kids' cartoons. I don't get it. Thank you. <laughs> Indeed. All right, well, have you guys ever heard of AI? AI will be able to tell us what they're actually saying. And if it gets then we will sue. Thank you. 
Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. No, <laughs> no. Trees don't say that. Trees say f you. All right, but the ones that get me the most are the ones are the shows that are meant for infants. <laughs> and this next show, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, dropped a serious f bomb the last video, and I laughed and laughed. Hey, you fucky boy. <laughs> All right, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. What the fuck's up today? Goodbye, friend. Bucky sail away. Kind of sound like an English accent. Fuck you, sail away. Fuck you, sail away. <laughs> Who the hell is fuck you? <laughs> All right, as I learned from the last video, they were not saying fuck, they were saying buck because the ship's name is Bucky. Probably could have picked a name that didn't sound like fuck, but that's okay. Bucky, sail away. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get the b. All I'm getting is. We need Bucky. Bucky sailor. Okay, maybe he does say Bucky. I'm hearing the B now that I listen for it. I definitely am hearing what I want to hear. Bucky sailor. Yeah, yeah. See, I wanted to hear. <laughs> ah, what a shame. All right, this next one is a classic Scooby Doo. Let's see what kind of fuckery Scooby Doo has going on today. Who was it, Scoob? Dong Fong? Dean Fang? Dan Flunk? Dean Fong. Uh, I mean, Dan Fink. Dong Fong? Fuck. Dean Fong. Uh, I mean, Dan. He even corrected himself. <laughs> he was like, oh, f I mean, that would suggest that that's what he said. Dan Dong Fink. Flunk. Flunk. Don't worry, Scoob. <laughs> Did he say f poop? Ding, flunk, poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop. Flunk, poop. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, flunk or poop. It's so good. It's so clear. Flunk, poop. <laughs> like, come on, guys. Like, I've said this before, but the guys working the soundboards during the voiceovers, you gotta hear that. All right, if you could just give me some random Scooby-Doo sounds, that would be great, and go. Oh, oh, f poop! I mean, would it hurt to go Or at least something that doesn't sound like fuck poop? All right, but we gotta give it the AI test. Scooby-Doo, you potty mouth pooch. Fuck poop. 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 Anyways, now we're getting into the deep stuff. You may have heard of a show called Sesame Street, but anyways, let me take you back to 2008, where a girl named Leela is taking home video to send back to her parents at home. But what do you suppose Leela might record? Count Dracula counting? No, no, um, Big Bird singing a song? No, 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 no. Uh, maybe a Muppet saying f Hey, I don't jump if you don't read the book. It's in my contract. You gotta read the fine print. Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> what? All I heard was gibberish, but I heard a. Hey, I don't jump if you don't read the book. It's in my contract. You gotta read the fine print. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack said fuck on Sesame Street. Hey, I don't jump if you don't read the book. It's in my contract. You gotta read the fine print. Sorry, kids. <laughs> oh, he said book. Hey, 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 I don't jump if you don't read the book. That's what he said. Sounded like. He's definitely on crack. Hey, I don't jump if you don't read the book. It's in my contract. You gotta read the fine print. Sorry, kids. He could have. He could have pronounced it more clearly. Cause the first time I heard. <laughs> have you had enough of Sesame Street yet? You have. Oh, well, too bad. Here's another one. Elmo knows. Elmo could find Rocco. Hey, Elmo, that is a great idea. What the hell, Chris? Rocco could be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell, Chris? In today's episode, Elmo cusses at Christopher. Uh -huh. Hey, Elmo, that is a great idea. What the hell, Chris? Rocco could be <laughs> And Chris was just like, what the hell did I do? Like, all Chris said was that's a great idea. And Elmo's like, what the hell, Chris? Of course that's a great idea. <laughs> what the hell, Chris? Rocco could be anywhere. Did he actually say it? No. No, they wouldn't have that on Sess. I've listened to this about 50 times, and I am no closer to figuring out what. I gotta try text to speech to see what he's saying. 
Pirate Christmas. Huh? What? <laughs> Pirate Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I gotta tell ya, I don't think that's it. <laughs> this thing is on more crack than Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack fuck. At this point, I have to just conclude that he really did say what the hell, Chris, didn't he? Mm-hmm. All right, to close us out, here's the last Sesame Street one. Sesame Street's already canceled, but... The economy will collapse, and if the economy collapses, the country will be doomed! Doomed, I tell you! Shut the f*** up! Watch your mouth, little dog. I'd expect... Okay. Not expecting that. Pretty sure that one was edited. <laughs> Could you imagine though? You're just sitting there watching Sesame Street with your kids. You're like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Elmo's just like, shut the f up. Like, what would you do? I would piss myself laughing. Shut the f up. Watch your mouth, little guy. Now, I'd expect that attitude over on cable, but this is network. F you, mother. <laughs> I told you Elmo has had enough. All right, well, that's about all I can stomach for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what I do, subscribe! Fuck. Boom! <laughs>